Are you a baseball fan? If so, you may be interested in the saint whom we honor today. Her name is Rita, and she died in the year 1457, long before the game of baseball existed. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I learned recently that some people want St. Rita to be named the patron saint of baseball because the 2002 movie, The Rookie, the story of the pitcher Jim Morris, has references to St. Rita, who's the patron saint of hopeless causes. She's invoked in the movie because Jim Morris, after a shoulder injury, seemed an unlikely candidate to make the major leagues. Quite by accident, 12 years after ending a short-lived career in the minor leagues, Morris threw pitches to the high school team he was coaching. No one could hit the 98-mile-an-hour fastballs that he threw. For the rest of the story, see the movie. But back to St. Rita. When she was 12, her parents married her off to a violent, abusive, and unfaithful man, and they had two sons. She wanted to be a nun, and that vocation seemed an impossibility until she was widowed and her sons unexpectedly died as well. Free to enter the convent, she was refused entry because she had been married. After several tries, she was finally admitted. I suspect because of the difficult life she had with its broken dreams and closed doors, people began to look up to her as someone who could intercede for them in seemingly impossible situations. That's what happened in the movie. Is that superstition? Well, let's put it this way. Throughout history, God has used people as his instruments. It shouldn't surprise us that he continues to use the saints who live with him forever in heaven in just the same way. Father James Kabicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.